Back to it. Judgment. Let's go. We are doing something in the middle of the night, I believe. We're checking something out. The mystery unfolds, if you will. Conban wife, yeah. The service where the ladies there pretend to be your wife, which is definitely a market. Definitely a market. Sometimes whenever I whenever I play these types of games, I wonder if these types of places exist in the city that I live in, and I can't help but feel like they do. But I probably have to go looking for them. And I won't, but Conban Wife, the last place Kunimura was seen alive. いらっしゃいませ。オプション。えっと、それじゃあね、まずコースは35分で9000円、50分17000円です。I don't know whether I need to pick something specific here. まあ、初心者だからね。いや、でも初心者だからこそ本当はもっと長くいてもらいたかったな。そういうもんなのか。まあ、でも別にお客さんの自由ですから。正解も間違いもないから安心してください。ご指名はどうしましょう。All of them。かなえちゃんですね。is。ああ、かなえちゃんで。かしこまりました。えっと、それじゃオプションはね、いろいろありますけど、女の子と直接交渉してください。オプションというと、それはもういろいろですよ。女の子によっては NGのオプションもあります。かなえちゃんは一つだけ目隠しプレイがNGでして。目隠し？彼女はその目を隠すとかちょっと怖い思いをしたことがありましてね。わかる気がするよ。最近関西のヤクザがこの
どういうことですかお前こそなんでこの店なんだえ<笑> Looking for a wife, obviously. 強霊界の事件を嗅ぎ回ってるってもうお前の出る幕じゃねえだろうどういうつもりだそんなもん俺の勝手ですよ終わった事件蒸し返すんじゃねえせっかく新谷先生が無罪取ってくれたんだからよ<笑>タフな探偵気取んならもっと鍛えねえとな<笑>俺さっきも襲われたんですよね目指し棒の4人組に<笑>なんだそれ<笑>あれはあんたの差し金ですから<笑>今そこに控えてんのも4人だ<笑>言ってる意味がわかんねえなだろ、ケンゴヘイヨタこいてんじゃねえぞ、俺、うん、どうどうえい<笑>カナエちゃんならさっきこの店やめて国に帰ってったぞ今回はイエローカードで済ませといてやる<笑>お前は親父のお気に入りだからな<笑>ヤガミだ親父さんかおうどうしたなんか調子悪いのかおやさんとこの頭と厄介事があってね間に入ってもらえると助かるんだけどいやまあとにかく組の事務所にいるからよお前が来るまで待ってるわわかったあんたはスピードはあったポイント652 okay I kind of want to focus on getting these more than everything else although that would be pretty nice all right let's head back over there do we need to heal yes And a will, let's go into Wild Jackson and start up another friendship. Welcome, sir. Give me a Wild Burger. Wild Jackson's signature hamburger, famous for its thick sliced cheese and tomatoes. Was he waiting for me outside? Yes. E excuse me, but may I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm, uh, Takeo Inose, the manager of the Wild Jackson, which you have just eaten. Look, I'm in a terrible bind here. If you'd be so kind as to share your thoughts on how to improve our restaurant, I will be forever in your debt. Takeo Inose. This guy looks like he's about to have a meltdown. Maybe talking to him will help him calm, calm me down. Uh, Lend it I guess I could share a few thoughts. Oh, you're, you're a godsend! So what advice can you give me? You're looking to make it better? I mean, I already enjoy the food. Are you not making enough profit or something? Hi. Yes, lately we've been hit hard by our rival, Wete Kitchen. Our profits have been tanking. And with sales as low as deeds, Corp has been dangling the idea of termination over my head unless I turn things around. Ouch, I know I did things were that bad. I guess you didn't need to hear all that. Sorry to trouble you. Well, now I understand why you're worried. Anyway, is there anything in particular you want feedback on? Ah, yes! I was hoping to present some potential improvements to our store, and possibly the rest of the chain. 
Tell me, is there anything about Wild Jackson that strikes you as a medio as mediocre or perhaps even unappealing? Hmm. It's pretty tough to say. Can't really think of anything specific. Maybe you should ask a customer who hasn't been here in a while. Or someone who doesn't eat here anymore, period. That would be ideal. But how would I even begin looking for someone like that? Come to think of it, I do remember seeing something about Wild Jackson while scrolling through chat or a while back. I imagine if there were any complaints online, they'd be on social media. Maybe we can use those as clues to turn this place around. Besides, I already have a lead, so I may as well lend a hand. Seems like this guy's got it pretty rough as it is. I have an idea, no say san One of my friends is really good at finding things on social media. Why don't we start there? Yeah. Huh? You're really going to help me out? Yeah. If there's any information that needs finding, we're your go-to guys. Thank you, kind sir. Sukomo should be at Man Mantai as usual. I'll have him check out Wild Jackson's reputation. Okay. So we'll put that to one side for now. Can't get out, can't get out. Eat food again already. Hey gamers, I'm just gonna casually walk in. Hang on. まあ、座れよ。いきなりだがよ、タボ。結論から言うぞ。うん。お前がハムラと何か揉めたとしても、俺が捨てやれることは何もねえ。なんだよ、小倉さん。ちょっと待ってくれ。話も聞いてくれないのか。話聞いたって時間の無駄だからな。ハムラは組の稼ぎ頭だよ。今の俺はその小遣いでほそほそやってる。マジで losing like それがハムラの指示と勝ち合った時にはどうだろうな。多分俺の言葉は聞かなかったことにされちまう。どうしたんだ、親さん。いつからそんな。昔お前を面倒見てた頃が俺は一番花だったよ。親さん。それでも怪
Those hags were older than time. God damn. Welcome, welcome. Can I take your order? You can. Kayushu Tonkotsu Ramen. The standard ramen. Its broth is made with the Kayushu Way for that classic tonkotsu taste. Come back when there was a casino in here. Thank you very much. Come back again. Hmm. Compliments to the chef. Why, thank you. Kayushu number one star owner. Seriously, your chatsu was incredible. Oh yeah, glad to hear it. A lot of people compliment our ramen, but to be honest, not too many people mention our chatsu. Huh, wonder why. It's the strangest thing. We put just as much effort into our chatsu as we do our ramen. Well, that's probably why it tastes so good. Ha, then I'll let you in on a secret. We do add a special little ingredient that you probably wouldn't expect. Oh, and what would that be? Take a wild guess. Hmm, can I get a hint? Haha, <laughs> alright then. Let's see. Normally you'd add sugar to sweeten up chatsu, but here we use something else. What do you think that could be? A substitute for sugar, huh? I think it's honey, but let me double check. Yeah, it is honey. Yeah! Honey? Ah, you must have quite the refined palate to figure that one out. With the right amount of honey, you can make nearly any cut of meat drip with sweet, tender goodness. I see. Now that you mention it, that chatsu was dripping in with sweet, tender goodness. Ha <laughs> indeed. Say, what's your name? Yagami. I'm Yagami. It's nice to meet you. Yagami-san, huh? The pleasure's all mine. Hope to see you around more often. You bet. See you next time. More SP, thank you. I'm off to Cafe Alps. Yeah, I forgot they start, these guys start appearing with as mini bosses or whatever. Get out of here! Wasn't Hamura supposed to be here already? Yeah, give me choosing the seat that faces the door. さけたまにしやがる。俺はただ頭と小じれた剣を安さんに報告した方がいいと思ったんです。いらねえよ。お前がおとなしくしてりゃいいだけの話だ。それとも俺の言葉が足んなかったか？いえ、今のでやっとわ
どうせ口で言っても聞かねえんだろターボガキの頃からそうだったもんなお前は周りにいくら笑われようがよ夜間通い上げてとうとう司法試験まで通っちまった<笑>どうせ今も腹の中じゃ手引かねえ気なんだろう元弁護士だろうが所詮はゴロつきやがりだやっぱ無知でしつけねえとな、うん、尾崎But the boots are him, medium style. Matsugane family. Gotta do some sick jump, that was crazy. Get out of here. That's one down. Oh, here's the big boy. Kojiro Ozaki. Oh, the whole family, I guess. I'm sick of this motherfucker with his Jesus This pillar be this pillar being in the fucking center is brutal. Just in the way. That's all it exists. It exists to be in the way. Right, there we go. Now I can focus entirely on you.
Hit him! There we go. EX mode is actually really broken. <laughs> Gun! Not the mortal wound system. My dude's not feeling up to scratch at the moment. See you later, gamers. I'm out of here. Shangri-La! Out of my way, gamer. Oh, right, yeah, we did, I, guess we, I guess we did just yeah. run straight to the headquarters, didn't we? Yagami's first uh, foray into skateboarding. He's going to do a Back to the Future. He's being rad. I love it. See ya. Yes. I love how the skate that's where the skateboarding mechanics came from. Just that part right there. Where you could control it yourself. There he is. That section's really cool.
お前何なんだその前にお礼はないのお前は昼に俺のスマホをでも返したじゃんなんで取ったなんで返したあの時はしつこい警官に追われててさそしたらあんたが電話しててそれでパッと計画を思いついたわけ計画うんまずスマホを奪うでしょするとあんたは僕を追いかけてくる後から来た警官たちは僕と同じ方向に走るあんたを仲間だと思うであんたが捕まってる間に僕は逃げる<笑>まあんたまで逃げ切るとは思ってなかったんだけどさお互い結果オーライだったでしょじゃあ今はなんで俺を助けたそりゃああれなんでだっけな<笑>変なやつだなまあ一応スマホの件じゃ迷惑かけたしさでもそれで今は命が助かったんだからあんたラッキーだよねそうかもな助かったよならこれでチャラね Thank you, Viva Vendetta Man. なんで窃盗だなんてやってんだいい若いもんがもったいない。はあそんなに暇なら、俺の仕事手伝わないか。ヤクザに狙われるような仕事は冗談でしょう。さっきのやつらは登場会の松金組だ。他に、教礼会とも俺は揉めてる。ちょっと面白そうではあるけどさ僕らまだお互いに信用できないでしょ八神さんお前俺の名前を Go finally, the end of chapter two. Matsugane Gumi Wakagashira, Tamura Kyohewa, Mogura to Tsujitir. Some cassettes of Razakir Kanayomi, Yagami or Yukito Havamare. Matiju ni Hari Megura Salet, the Hamura no Kanishimua, Yoso Koete Nebukai. クリッツ無縁のヤガミへわずかに差し伸べられるってだが世はまだ開けない Chapter 3 The Stick Up Dude, why did you throw your phone? It's probably super expensive. Cartes and better not be back at the office. That's the first place they'll look. I don't know. y 
Yo, Tabo. <laughs> An absolute <laughs> legend has shown up. Member of the Matsugani family, Toru Clan subsidiary, Toru Higashi, legend. Higashi from the Matsugani family, he and Kaito-san were close before Kaito-san got booted. ますます手を引く気なんてないね。肩着の怪盗の兄貴。俺はもう、お前の兄貴じゃねえ。そうでしたね。でしたつれて帰れや。東。ええ。今日のところは もういい。行け。前にも言いませんでしたっけね。薬病神を略して矢神です。すぐに手切った方がいいですよ。はい。東よ。少し見ないうちに悪い顔になったな。うるせえよ。タボ。東を お前の言う通り、悪い顔になってた。分かった。行ってくる。モグラの剣とは別だ。依頼料は払うぞ。そんなのいるわけないだろ。それにハムラの情報も手に入るかもしれないしな。All right, Taylor mission number 2. Actually, how many SP have I got now? Uh, 1,000, maybe... That count was super loud, anyway. タイロ、もしもし。カイトだ。こっちの窓から東が歩いてくのが見えた。あいつは今一人だ。中道通りを右に折れてった。中道通りを右だな。わかった。頼んだぜ。あ、なんかカイスワード。
I think he meets up with people. Either that, but I kind of feel as if that's during the daytime. Yeah, he's doubling back. Oh, he's running. It's the, it, oh, he's the first person who runs. Eyes of a whore. Well, to be fair, he knows who I am, so. Vroom. Watch it out for his boys, it's not all bad. Have I lost him? He's literally behind a lamppost. How? He's right there, I can see the man. Is this the one we've got to go into the popo? Definitely a second Higashi tale where he meets up with a load of other people. This is where we find his arcade! Oops. His little arcade! He's a gamer. Kaito da. Higashi was in the middle of the gate in the middle of the gate. Here is the gate. Gate? Yes. Sharuru is the name of the gate. Sometimes... Yakuza 
ってるゲーセン実は裏カジノとかいやたまにヤバい取引の場所に使ってたがよ普段はガキでも入れる普通のゲーセンだ分かったなら俺も行けるところまで行ってみおうちょっと待てよえそこまで広い店じゃねえんだ店入る前に変装してった方がいいなるほど変装か分かったアディスカーズなぜそのサイドに乗っているのサブストラーサイドケーシスを乗っているのサブストラーサイドケーシスを乗っているのサブストラーサイドケーシス Look how easy it is. It's crazy that in Premium Adventure you can't just pick a disguise and wear it. It's so weird that you can't do that. Yeah, sorry, I'm committing to this. Fugu. I'll do it three times. What have I got? Blowfish. I'll keep going actually until I get a duplicate. Red snapper. In both green. Damn it. There's the dupe. See you later. Virtual Town Super Gunman Part 2. I don't know what that game is. Just a homeless man walks in. Ah, no, it's not going to be a good one. What other games have we got here? Or is it just these two? It's actually quite crazy. Another, another great example. This is, a, this is a literal arcade, and yet for some reason, you can't... In, uh, in Camera Go, while Charles is in here, it's only for the capsules. It's not for playing games. When they could have set that up pretty easily. And that's also the case for this for Lost Judgment as well. Hey, I'm just gonna Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go in. Oi. Nani up in the Damn it. I'm just gonna go in. Charles employee. He's dead. Higashi-san! Miona yaroo ga! Yagami! Temei! Ore o tsuketa na! Utsuka, nante kakko shite yagaru. Maa, soko wa sotto shitoite kure. Nan no tsumori da? 
何しに来たカイトさんがお前を心配しててね心配だと自分を慕ってた射程がすっかり別人みたいだってな悪い顔になったか<笑>当たり前だ俺はな極道なんだよいや悪ぶってるだけだろはあさっきお前が子供に見せてた顔見覚えがあるよやっぱり根っこは変わってない海藤さんを兄貴って呼んでた頃から何もなな確かめてみるかもっと喧嘩はもういいってどうしてもっていうならすぐに出てくる腰抜けが<笑>相変わらずだ俺らが最後に会ったのはもう1年前か海藤さんが破門にされた日あの時お前は泣いてたよなバスパック One year ago, Matsugani Family Office. Yakuza no Kinko ga go to ni o so are you? So na masaka ga ar nante. Futsu wa kangai ne. So no hi, Jimusho no toban da ta kaito san ga so da. Torare ta kumi no kane wa ichi ok. Sasuga no kaito san mo. Ikinari ju o tsuki tsuke rare cha do o shio mo na gata. なんやってんだ責任者にけじめつけさせてるとこです親父指ですぐ話じゃねえだろそれで俺の金が戻んのかいえですがけじめですんでやらねえことには示しがつきませんじゃあその指一本で一億ですか逃亡なんだお前は俺と一緒だったんでな何やってんだよお前1億の小指だろ落とす前によーく見とこうと思ってうるせえ笑えるだろターボでも頭取られたのは1億ですよそれが指一本で済むんですか<笑>こいつはとりあえずのけじめだとりあえず<笑>じゃあまだ他にも何か当然よ怪盗は今日限り破門だそんな怪盗の兄貴がお親父俺は泣き入れて済む額じゃねえ親父もお分かりですよねこうするほかねえってこの件はもう本家の耳にも入ってますんで本家にずいぶん手回しがいいなありがとうございますうんじゃあ海藤さんは本当に仕方ねえ破門だ今この時この瞬間からそうだなら指詰めんのはなしだ、カイトさん。あ何勝手なこと言ってんだ、め<笑>指詰めんのは極道のけじめのつけ方でしょでももう。Who's using that Yakuza Zero logic? 部外者は引っ込んでろ<笑>組長がカイトさんを肩たぎだとそう言ってんですよ。頭。多分いらねえことすんな。カイトさん、こいつは男のけじめだ。俺はもう、とっくに腹くくってんだよよせカイトもうてめえは古文でもなんでもねえ。ほら、肩たぎの小指なんざ、受け取る気はねえぞ。
The only the only finger cutting you ever see is Kuze. <laughs> That's the only finger cutting scene in the ah, entire. Oh wait, no, there's two. I forget the one about Yakuza 7. でもお前はうまいことやったな、東。頭に取り入って出世したか。この芸線も前は海藤さんが仕切ってたって。てめえに何をあげる。ガサトチのナーフ。今の松金組は全部カシラが牛耳ったんだよ。怪盗の兄貴がいなくなって、親父は少しずつ勢力を崩されてった。兄貴さえ組に残ってりゃこうはなってるね。お前はそれを見てただ
Actually, I probably want to go to a popo right now. Let's go to that one. Wayne Cruz, I've not spoken to this guy yet. I thought I had. Mm -hmm. Music fair? Hey. That's right. Get one point for every 700 yen you spend. Once you get a 10 point, we'll give you a nice new record. A record? Like an LP? Yes. Furthermore, each popo in Kamarocho has a different record to give away. Hmm. We do have a record player back at the office. Remember to do lots of shopping at popo. So everyone I buy at popo counts towards a prize. It's not a bad deal. Thanks. With today's purchase, your points have gone up by eight. You now have an eight point total. If you gather ten points, we'll give you a nice new record. Remember to always do your shopping at Popo. Thanks, man. Quite a few of these Popos will get maxed randomly. The only one which I haven't been to, I think, is this one. Oh, wait, no, I have. Then it must be this one. Yes, yeah, this one. Going in. Hey, man. Yo, mono tanga. Oh, Lay no shadow root the gays and you hate it. You guys don't want the Hanasis. Be going about it, Tanga. Yeah. こっちから話しかけた。どんな感じだった。まず今の松金組は親さんもハムラの頭を押さえ切れてない。それで東も頭の言いなりになるしかないってことらしい。そうか。ただ実際話してみて、東はそこまで昔と変わってない気もしたよ
この間頭に無罪取ってやったのって俺らだよな報われないねファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンファイクスマンその時考える。サタンダしばらく寝とけって。この店に悪徳警官を出入りしてるってあのなうちの客にそんなのいないよ人聞きの悪い<笑>綾部来てないさっき来るって連絡はあったよそれよりターボーちょうどよかった一つ頼まれてほしい仕事があんだ仕事八神探偵事務所カムロ町一と見込んでねうんそう言われると断りづらいな。照れることないよ。俺は本気なんだから。マスター always had a way with words。どんな仕事さあね。まだ聞いてないんだ。まあ、依頼人はうちの常連だから間違いはないと思うけど。Anonymous。I heard the Yagami Detective Agency is the best detective agency in Kamarocho from the Master of Tender. Come to Hill Garden and Park Boulevard. I'm going to go to the Hill Garden. 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 I'm going to go to the h i Okay. Another side case to do. Oh, yeah, I need to play Camera to Dad. Might go play it now, actually, just to mix things up. I want to play Camaro of the fucking dead. Get out of here. That's a side quest, and I'm assuming that if we get into the vicinity, it'll start. Camaro of the Dead is 500 yen. Yes. Camaro of the Dead. Let's go. Chapter 1. 
It was not long before the virus completely overwhelmed Camarocho. In order to end this disaster, the government called for an aerial saturation bombing to end the undead outbreak and exterminate the virus once and for all. However, there are still some survivors left in Camarocho. But only a few scant hours remain until the bombing commences. Will you make it out of Camarocho alive or die along with it? Look how it's just assets from Dead Souls. It's incredible decision making here. Who's this gamer? That's right, baby. Let's go. Chapter 2 Aim, please. Here we go again. An eight, right? That's crazy. Chapter three. And this music is uh, from Dead Souls as well.
Who's this gamer? I think this is the thing that fights Majima and Akiyama. Rip that guy, he's dead! A rank. My accuracy is slowly getting worse. Chapter 4. Wow, I, I, that, that was my first. Oh my god, come on. I've been hit once. This is the worst. Okay, that's four done. It's D rank. Probably because I got hit. But it was the rock. Can't believe Dwayne Johnson himself took me down. Fuck is this guy? Oh, we had a foot one. What the hell? Hey. Camera, please. I'm dead. That reload took ages. That was.
Oh, I did it. That's the main thing. But yeah, that went really poorly by the end. Is that, it? Is that the game done? Congratulations! You are survived! <laughs> right, thanks. Amazing. Chapter EX. This is the final boss. Yeah. This is all well and good, but I have one life. No! Damn it. God damn it. I missed by an inch. Can I retry that? Or is it not gonna let, is it not gonna let me? Uh that's rough. Can I can I go back into that area? Or do I have to go from chapter five? Do I actually need to do it? Let's say go. I'm assuming that I do. Oh, no, I don't. I guess it is just an extra thing you can do. Oh, no, no, it's there. Uh, complete all stages. And kill you, have to, you have to play the game a few times anyway to get that. I would have. I think I would have completed if I hadn't have uh, got into that stage with one health. This is where the client told me to meet him. Hey, that's what I did. Detective Yagami. Are you my client? Ah. Yeah. You can call me Crow. Mm -hmm. That mask. Are you in that group of thieves everyone's been whispering about lately? Why, you wouldn't snitch if I was, would you? We may be thieves, but we don't steal from the righteous. Just the bad guys. You know, like Robin Hood. Oh, isn't that a coincidence that Crow is talking about Robin Hood? And because they're bad, it's not a crime? That's for a judge to decide, not me. Really? You have more of a goody two-shoes than I thought. The barkeep attendant told me this was a request from one of his regulars. But he knew I turned on a request from a thief, so he lied to me. Damn, that's cold. Here's the thing. I protect my client's privacy, so you can rest easy about that. But if you're trying to get me to help you steal something, I'm not accepting your case. Okay, that suits me fine, because all I want you to do is find someone. Mm -hmm. Find someone? He goes by Jester. I don't know his real name. Jester instead of Joker as well. <laughs> so he's... Yes, he's one of ours. But I haven't been able to reach him for a while. I think it's safe to say he's missing in action. You know what he looks like? As his name suggests, he wears a Jester's mask. Oh, really? I know exactly who that is. One of our guys screwed the pooch and we ended up needing to run from the cops. We only managed to get away because Jester distracted them. Huh. 
Sounds like a hell of a friend. That's when we lost touch with him, though. But he's way too good to get captured. And that's what makes him si makes his silence all the more perplexing. Sounds like you have a lot of faith in him. He's our ace in the hole. He's smart, professional, really good. Has the wild card. Cast personas. So if he's in trouble, we need to be there for him this time. I see. I'll pay you 50,000 yen. And don't worry, it's clean money. I was curious about that guy myself. If I take this job, maybe we'll cross paths again. Ah. Alright. I'll accept the case. Then it's a done deal. We'll be expecting results. Wait. I should get in touch with you if I find anything. Come back here when you find something out. We always have someone watching this spot. We'll know when you come, Yagami-san. I see. So long, then. Hey, get back here, Ketchy. You bastard. I have a group of notorious thieves find that buddy. What is life if not an adventure? Where do I even begin? I guess it wouldn't hurt to check out the spot where I saw him last. If I recall, that was the building behind Tenkaichi Street. Let's move. Yeah, company drinking parties are a mixed bag. Really depends whether or not you're vibing or not. If you're not vibing, they sh the, the, they're not good. If you are vibing, they're great. Who wants to fight me? to the ground with you. The police mechanic is so weird. I get why it's in the game. Because you're just a regular guy. Lost Judgment loses all pretenses and just makes Yagami out to be incredibly insane. This is where the thief helped me out. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, though. Wait. Isn't that it? I've got to get to him before he bails. Hey, you. You're... Hmm? Are you here on the trail of a certain... Of certain thieves? I'm a huge fan. Huh? You're a fan? Yeah, I'm a major thief aficionado. When I heard they'd been spotted here, I totally had to come down and check it out. Actually, when I heard they'd been spotted here, I totally had to come down and check it out. Wait, so... You don't remember yourself? Haha, <laughs> nah, but I looked the part, right? You wouldn't believe what I went through to get this stuff. Yeah, but why? <laughs> because! Just check out these silver accessories, man. 500,000 yen when all was said and done. Okay. You're kidding me, right? Well, was, what's even the point of wearing that much bling? Well, the ones the the thieves wear cost like a few more zeros. But you can't fault the guy who wanted to dress like his heroes, can you? Oh, so these thieves have a style? I guess even thieves need to make a fashion statement. It's more of a recent thing. They used to be pretty generic. But now they wear really high-end brands. When you get as good as them, I guess you can afford it. So I see. The feed he offered was pretty generous, so I could already tell they weren't broke. Sorry, man. Can I ask you to snap a pic of me? I got a post. It's a machada. Uh, I'm a little busy with that. Sorry. 
Well, that was a dead end. Maybe I should try Senryo Avenue. Can I? No. Wow. <laughs> really? I'm trying to work out how big the building was, you fuck. Get out of here. How did I survive? It's six stories. <laughs> Is this the one that Kamiya san's looking for? Time to send him a picture. Nakamiya san, I think I found your Kaliko. I just sent you a text. Yep, that's the one! You've done very well, Yagami san. I'm so glad he's safe. Aw, oh, you had me so worried. <laughs> See, I told you he'd be just fine. But there are two more that haven't been found. What? There's more? Yes. I'd like for you to find the tabby next. I often see him in Little Asia. He always ends up some high, hard to reach spot. So he's a climber, huh? Alright, I'll see if I can find him. Time to search for places only a cat could climb in Little Asia. Out of my way, bitch. Move, bitch. Get out of the way. Boss or something. Mm. Hey, stop right there! Mm -hmm. What's going on? Okay, meet up at the camp. Fox, meet up at the camera up here. Got it! Mascara, though. Mascara's odd. Huff, huff, hold it! We're those two in the same group of thieves. Damn it. I know. Did those guys just steal something, officer? Yeah. Some poor woman's handbag. Mm -hmm. Really? Weren't they those thieves everyone's talking about lately? I thought they only stole from the unjust. That's a bald-faced lie. Nothing but propaganda. As you can tell, they're out here stealing whatever they can get their grubby mitts on. Just or not. This doesn't add up. Those guys said something about me and a camera of fear. Maybe I can catch up to them. Mascara? Why Mascara? Fox is, again, another character. Because that's Yusuke. But Mascara's kind of a weird one. The only thing you can think of is that it connects to models, so maybe it's Anne? But that's a stretch. So... What's in there? Shogi. I'll hurt it. Did I hear a cat just now? He really is way up there. Maybe it's the tabby Nekomiya-san was talking about. I can't see much from down here. But I bet the drone can. Alright, yeah, you can only go up a certain height. That's gotta be the one. I'm sure Nikamiya Sam would appreciate a picture. Nekamiya san, I send you a text. Is that the right one? Woo! What a relief! Yes, that's him, alright. Fantastic work. Okay, looks like there's only one more to go. Anyway, our last little runaway critter is a black cat. Apparently, he lives on Pink Street and is quite fond of the ladies. That's really the only hint I have for you. Sorry if that seems rather vague. No problem, I got this under control. 
He's a real cutie. In fact, he's practically the talk of the town. I hope he's doing okay. So he likes women, huh? Guess I'll have to find this cat the hard way. By going to every single women club. Uh, how, do, how does this work? I need a smoke. Wait, I'm out of six, but I hit a convenience store. Right, okay, I best go do that. I love the fact that this is just a secret smoking spot. Um, I'm gonna go... to this popo. Can I not climb over that? Come on. I remember back when the M store was a thing. The M store got absolutely destroyed by Popo. Hang on. I try again. Pick it up. Hey, want to learn about our music fair today? Sota Nonomura. Hmm? Sure, why not? What's this all about? Simple. You spend 700 yen, you earn one point. Get 10 points, you earn one gift. That's all there is to it. What kind of gift is it? A limited edition record. Every branch in Kamarocho carries a different one. The point is to collect them all. I mean, that's, the only, that's only if you wanted to. Hmm. We do have a regular player back at the office. Yeah, give me the best shot. So everything I buy at Popo counts towards the prize. That's not a bad deal. Uh, give me four or five of them. And then uh, give me... And then... Um... Oh, perfect. I actually maxed that out immediately. Right now you have a ten point total. Nice. You finally got 10 points. Oh, awesome. Keep this limited edition record, sir. Please come again. Oh my god, that gave me 500 XP. I need to max for, I need to max friendships. Raising your friendships with the locals will allow you to perform EX bonds with some of them. EX bonds. Oh, yes. I'm gonna keep saving. 9,000. Oh, I need to learn Ferocity of the Tiger. What the hell is that? Oof. Okay, so I don't... It's not actually 9,000. It's more akin to 12... It's more akin to 13,000 for that. But I need Ferocity of the Tiger for both of these. Yeah, give me a uh, Jack Daniels drinker in this game. He slams those balls.
Drop money, you bastards. I guess I'll go to the rooftop first, and I'll try B1. Ah, a rare, a rare usage of the rooftop. This is where those two purse snatchers were going to meet up. Those clothes. Is that them? Whew, close one. I told you this was a bad move, man. We're just robbers now. I thought we were only going to steal from the wicked. Isn't that Crow's whole philosophy? Maybe it was, but that hypocrite doesn't practice what he preaches, so why should we? Mm -hmm. What? That's what I read on the net too, but it's really true. Well, here's what I heard, man. Basically, he got offered a job by some big corporation to steal secrets from their competition. The money they offered was so good, the senior members knew they couldn't turn it down. So they took it and then split the profits. And none of it even made it down to the grunts like us. What about Jester? He would never do that. Would he? No way. Jester's not like that. So what they told us about how he quit over the profit splitting. Do I think that's true? No way, man. He didn't like how Crow was running the show, so he split. Damn, dude. <laughs> but I still say Jester's an idiot, too. Just because you claim you're a righteous thief doesn't mean you're not gonna do time if the cops catch you. So what's the point? May as well try to come out ahead. I guess, but... You think the rest of the crew knows all this? I doubt the newbies do. They all bought into Crow's lies and they think, probably think Jester's actually missing. So I say we keep getting better and hope Crow cuts us in on the next big job. Good than plan as any, right? Wait a sec. <sighs> Fuck it. I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna quit. Maybe I should just turn myself in. Well, shit. Sounds like the client, this client's been trying to play me. Jester isn't missing. He just quit because his group got hijacked by this crow guy. And if I had to guess, crow's motivation for looking for Jester, uh, well, it couldn't be good. I think me and my client need to have a discussion. So if not pay. I'm assuming not. Can't go into the water. I have once again disappointed Nathan Explosion. Oh, that just took me straight outside. That's crazy. Let's go eat somewhere. Oh. Uh, let's go to Ikinari Steak. Let's instigate this friendship next. Welcome, sir. Give me the tenderloin steak 200G, a tender fillet that's light on the fat and oil. The delicious red meat incites your inner hunger. Just slam the steak with my hands. Thank you. So how's the food treating you? So how's the food treating you? Oh, it was delicious. Awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. 
Just so you know, we use a special method called fresh aging to prepare our steaks for the never seeing a freezer. No wonder they're so soft and succulent. Yeah. Not only that, but our beef undergoes a rigorous selection process to ensure that only the best reaches your table. Even though the prices are so cheap? Hey. Absolutely. We do our utmost best to serve our customers the highest quality meat for the lowest possible price. Wow, that's pretty neat. Huh. President Ichinose! Huh. So this is where you've been. It's almost time for your meeting, so please come back to the office. Oh, Motomurakun. It's that time already? Eh? Wait, you're the guy who runs this place? Ah, uh, yes. I apologize for not mentioning it sooner. I'm Kunio Ichinose, and yes, I do run Ikinari Steak. Kunio Ichinose. Eh? Wow, the president of the whole franchise. What are you doing here, then? Let customers be the judge is what I've always lived by, so I came to get a feel for how the place is running. Gotcha. I knew you weren't just another employee. Pardon me, but we really should get going, sir. Ah, uh, that's right. Sorry, sorry. By the way, what's your name? I'm Yagami. Yagami-san, I appreciate you dining with us today. Please come back and enjoy our steaks again. Definitely. Well, goodbye. Cool. We're friends now. To think about the president of the franchise. Oh my god! God damn! I didn't even know- I didn't even know Yagami had that type of heat. This is a crane only playthrough. Or Flash and Waltz, as I recently learned. I'm going over. <laughs> it's an all-out attack. Who the hell are you? He's trying to impersonate Jester with that mask. You on him. You trying to pull a fast one on us, dumbass? <laughs> I'm sorry. Besides, Jester never wore all this loud, tacky shit. So here's a good plan. Why don't we take it off your hands? Then you will really look the part. <laughs> Those guys, what are they doing? Hey, stop. Uh, looks like we got company. Bring him down too. Thieves. Let's use a, a rare moment in this particular playthrough if you're using Tiger style. Get fucked. They're all dead and they didn't even land a hit. Nah. Aren't you that weird Thieves fan? Yes. What happened? I saw the Thieves and I wanted to shake their hand, but then they kind of. Yagami san, you came at a bad time. Nah. Crap. What's going on here? A little slip up. More importantly, did you find Jester? Not yet. I'm disappointed. For a detective with a reputation for proving a murdered suspect innocent, you're not that impressive. I can say the same of you, righteous thieves. What a joke. And you're missing, friend? That's all a lie too, right? You're coming on pretty strong there, Yagami. Why would you ever think that? I think there's plenty of evidence. Is it this? Or is it your one? The way I hear it, you broke the rule about only stealing from the corrupt. Huh? What are you talking about? The job was too good to pass up, wasn't it? You couldn't resist. You're talking out of your ass. I don't keep any of the money I steal. It seems stupid to even point this out, but...
that crap you're wearing? I heard it's expensive. And how many do you even have? More than I can afford. <laughs> now we're seeing the detective come out. You have a good eye. So tell me, why are you really looking for Jester? No reason, really. Just had a pretty tempting job to offer him. We're going to rob the security fan of a credit union. And the best part? The client is the credit union's manager. Mm -hmm. What? They need a robbery to happen to cover up their financial failure. Cl a classic insurance fraud. They get reimbursed by their insurance, and they expect us to give back what we steal, doubling their profits. <laughs> but I have no intention of giving it back. People are such idiots when they're backed into a corner. So you're staging a robbery and then breaching your contract. What happened to Honor Among Thieves? That's how it was, at first. We used to talk big on back channel net chats, but we'd always chicken out when it came to pulling the heist. We were all talk, just a bunch of losers on the web, until he showed up. You mean Jester? Uh. Yeah, he was a genius. He knew how to execute a plan. We owe it all to him that we got big enough to gain a following. Yeah, and then he left you high and dry when you got too greedy. Yep. He was all about punishing social injustice. Always acting so high and mighty. Then what makes you think he'll help you on this fraud heist? Who knows? If he saw what a payday it's gonna be, even he might have a change of heart. A change of heart, you say? And if he didn't? Then, I guess we'd be parting ways. Permanently. Sounds like your plan that was your plan from the beginning. I take it you plan on getting rid of me too? Of course. Especially now that you know what I've told you. I'm afraid your time has gone. Yeah, right. I took your job and I expect to get paid. Alright, come on, Akachi. Stop trying to kill people. That was my all-out attack. Go fuck yourself. This is justice! <laughs> Gosh, shit. You need to disband your little group before you do anything really stupid. And I think you owe an apology to everyone who joined you thinking you were some righteous bandit. Ugh, I'll end it, man. Just gets his ass kicked once and then gives up. yagami sa Hmm? Hmm? If you ever see Jester, and he's still out there playing the hero, can you tell him to t t take it down a notch? What do you mean? He's overextending himself. I don't really know what fuels his rage against injustice. Probably some tragic shit in his past. But he's gotta stop. He'll get caught. Alright. I'll talk to him. I'll put the money directly into your bank account. Later. Well, this didn't get me any closer to Jester. But I think I learned a few things about him all the same. There we go. Man, that was crazy. Guess Mats Masuda kept his word. その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。その。
All oh, right, yeah, of course. I'll probably do a drone race eventually. How much money have I got? Please drop money. Thank you. More of that, please. Alright, yeah, shit, I'm a tiger. I'll be stopping by tomorrow. Might be a good idea to get some shut eye. Yep. Ooh, I'm exhausted. Those must be the files he promised. それが松金組強盗事件の捜査資料。捜査資料だ。寝ぼけやがって。ヤクザが泥棒に入られたっつって百当番するかよ。え。殺が大勢事務所に来ちまうんだぞ。松金組の件は事件にはなってねえ。この
So he broke in specifically when nobody was around. Ballsy raiding a Yakuza office with just a pistol. あ、腕がいいのもあるが、それだけじゃないな。金庫の場所や事務所が手薄な時間。内部情報に詳しくなきゃ、ここまでスマートにはやれん。組みんながり、俗を手引きした内通者がいたはずだ。それはそれとして、
じゃあつまり赤鼻を見つけて金を回収したわけだでも海藤さんの復帰はかなわなかった代わりに東は組の中でそこそこの出世はしたよ頭の覚えがめでたくなったってわけだ赤鼻はどうなんだ東から何も聞いてないまあ俺も別に聞きたかないねまさか東が赤鼻を始末したさあなでもどうだ10万払った価値はあったろう No, give me the money back Give me the money back, you coward 1年前赤鼻の名前を掴んだ東は多分町中のホームレスに聞き込んだはずだ俺も同じようにやれば会えるかな赤鼻に To purgatory I need to figure out if Red Nose is still alive Maybe the homeless people around town would know Red Nose, homeless man and ex-convict who single-handedly infiltrated the Matsugani family office, effortlessly made away with 100 million yen after holding Kaito at gunpoint and forcing them to open the safe. However, the money was supposedly retrieved by Higashi not long afterward. As for Red Nose's current whereabouts, nobody knows. Kazuya Ayabe, a detective working for the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department Organized Crime Division. Despite the fancy title, Ayabe is actually an informant who doles out confidential investigation information to the highest bidder. In other words, a corrupt cop. He secretly provided Higashi with the police's list of ex-convicts, which led to the discovery of Red Nose, the man who robbed the Matsugani family. Alright, let's read this one. Crow. The leader of a burglary ring targeting Kamarocho. His name and age are unknown. Like his pseudonym, pseudonym suggests, he wears a blackbird mask. Chester, the wild card. They actually did call him the wild card. The wild card of the burglary ring target in Kamarocho. His name and age are unknown. He first used Yagami to escape the police, but then saved him from the Matsugani family. His actions are shrouded in a mystery, cannot be contacted. The leader of the burglary ring that's been making the rounds in Kamarocho, Crow asked me to find Jester, one of their members. Crow told me he was worried about Jester, but that was a lie, because Crow simply wanted Jester to come back to the thieves to make use of his talents for his vile schemes. There's one more side case I think we've got to, we have to do. And it's uh I think it's the argument in the office. I'm at full health. I guess I did just rest, so... あの、ちょっといいかな。あ、赤花って人を探してるんです。俺らの仲間ホームレスかあったことはある。でももう1年ぐらい見てないな。どこにいるかは知らないよ。Love how he offers a drink because that's usually how you get the homeless to talk to you in the other games. ちょっと all right, that was very kind of you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bam 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 bam. Bam bam bam. This is the guy, clearly. Hmm? Nichanani。人を探してまして。赤花って人なんですけど。赤花ちょっとわからないな。そうですか。けど仲間に聞けばわかるかもしれないよ。本当ですか?ねえ、まあちょっと時間はかかると思うが。構いません。お願いします。い
I want to get more attack, I think, before I uh, get the ferocity of the tiger stuff. Remember back when that used to be a cabaret club? Time to do this. Isn't her name actually Dice or something? Welcome to Paradise VR! Here you can play the latest in virtual reality entertainment, the one and only Dyson Cube. A VR pair of dice. Sir, do you have play passes? Each course costs a different number of play passes. Uh, isn't that the thing the homeless guy gave me? Is this a play pl pass? Oh, a free trial play pass. You can play with just one of these. Have you played Dice and Cube before? Yeah. No, this is my first time. I see. In that case, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm your receptionist today. Nice to dice you. <laughs> As in, nice dice? I'm so sorry. We hope you have an amazing experience that brings you back for more. Thanks. I'll guide you through the short course today. Customers who do well on the short course will get a special surprise. The condition is to clear, clear the stage with two, more than two dice left in your possession. Do your best! Is that what this homer guy wanted? Guess I'd better beat the game and bring him back the prize. That's all there is to it. Now please put on these VR goggles. <laughs> and you're all set! Enjoy your trip to Virtual Camarocho! This is, this is pretty rad, this, at the same time. Yosh. Game start that. This is just awesome. It looks so cool. <laughs> uh. Well if, it, well, if it ain't a fresh new face, howdy, the name's Koronyan, and I run this dang old Dyson Cube game. I was born and raised in Hiroshima, you see. Back home, I always dreamed of being a big time mascot, and well, here I am. He had to compete with Onamichi. Onamichio. Sure, is now to have some company in this doggone virtual prison of mine. Heh <laughs> heh. Now let me learn you the rules. There's three basic things you want to know about Dyson Cube. First, you can start rolling them dice that with X and stopping with X. Second, there's a limit to how many dice you can roll per game. And third, items you find around these parts are converted to cash one rolls once all said and done. The third rule is mighty important, but I reckon it's quicker to show you than just running off out of the mouth. Time for your first roll. Don't be nervous now, Sunny. Loosen them up, shoulders, and relax them cheeks. Now then, notice that number on top of the dice went down by one? That number shows how many dice you throw during this crazy old game, and when it reaches zero, boom! Kablow! It's game over, Sunny. So mind that dice number whenever you make your moves. Oh, but the higher your number is here, the higher the bonus you get. The bonus changes depending on how much you have left. Just press square to look at the details. Let's keep on going, sonny boy. When you land on a safe space, you have to open up a lock safe using your lock picking or even the good old thumb turn bypass. You might get a mighty fine happen if you open the safe in time. Yes. 
う少しだ。Yeah, there's something up with my left、uh, analog stick. Cool. I thought Trinity got that. These item doohickeys are whatever your kids call in them or exchange for cash at the end. By the way, you can check the details of your items by pressing triangle. So keep that in your noggin. A branching path, eh? Well, whichever way you go is up to you. But whatever fate befalls you is your responsibility alone. By the way, you can check what's ahead by pressing L1 and looking at the dang old map. I will. I've got a five. One, two, three, four, five. So I can either go for the chest or I can go this way. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to go for the go this way so I can try and get out of here with two dice. Ruby earrings, cool. One, you bastards. And it took away two dice? Wow. Well, that's rough. I just run. I guess I just randomly lost. Damn, couldn't do it. Bad luck this time, huh? We're giving out free play passes to do to customers who do a trial run. Give it a shot sometime. Too bad. I guess we'll report back to the homeless guy. Yeah, you complete your trial runs the next time you'll be able to play short course standard. Nope. I tried. I think you only get the money if you complete it. I'm not interested in fighting right now. Let me just let me just leave. I need to check something about the Kai Hing Gang. I find it really weird that they're not already chasing after me, and I'm concerned that it's a later. It's probably when the second guy shows up. Chapter 4 is when it happens, yeah. Chapter 4, I have this chapter to just enjoy my free time before it all falls apart. Sorry, man, I、uh, fucked up. VR is going to go clear, stay came more at a guy. Yeah, Marina. Nanda, dummy that Tanoga. My yo, I see it's cause it's Matte Argatana. Tokoro deo, Nichanga Sangasteta, Akahana, the home with his no can. Siria in Kitimitanda. Janin Nagara, Akahana no Idokoroa, Wakaranagata. Dada. ホームレスを探すならいいとこがあるらしいそう言ってる人がいてねああちょうどいいやその人が来た It's just Hamura again 誰かホームレスを探し回ってる人ってあんたか
もう見つかったいやまだだけどなら神室町の児童公園に行ってみるといいボランティアの炊き出しやってるからこの辺のホームレスならみんな集まるはずだよそっかありがとういいんだよ別にじゃあ See you later ゲーム Sure, do you? Oh, is that the guy I just spoke to? Kaito, da. Tabo, Ima, doko da. Kore kara jido koen no takidashi ni iku toko da. Soko de lei no goto to aeru kamo shire. Omae, Ima mo Kamuro chou ni iru to omo no ka? Kumi no jimusho osotta yatsu ga yo. 本人はいなくても何か情報があればと思ってね綾部の話じゃ松金組を襲った強盗は赤花っていうホームレスだった赤花ホームレスが犯人なのか<笑>みたいだなただ東が金を回収した後赤花は生きてるかどうかもわからないそうかわかった俺も行く児童公園だな What ever happened to Vincent? I don't good. What's that actually got? Club Bon 58, Odin, Garofano, an Italian restaurant. Maybe run by the Takumi twins. Scarecrow, Lounge Sins. Club Killer Tomb. Oh shit, I was there for too long. Come on. We enjoy money. I just wanted to jump over this. into the goddamn sky. Good for cash. Out of my way, gamers. Go on, who's in this spot? I need to heal anyway. Welcome, sir. Give me the beef bowl standard. The famous beef bowl that put Ak Akashimaru on the map. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the meal. Glad you enjoyed it, sir. Thanks for always stopping by. <laughs> by the way, have you heard we're adding a new entree? Oh, oh yeah. Can't wait to try it. Please do. 
I came up with the recipe myself, and I must say, it's one of my finest creations. Interesting. Are you the manager by any chance? That's right. Please call me Nasugawa. Hi Hiroto Nasugawa. Got it. I'm Yagami. It's nice to meet you. Yagami -san. Nice to meet you too, Yagami-san. Please come back and try our new entree. I'm sure you'll love it. Alright, I'll be back in later. I'm sure I will. Next time then. Wonderful, then I hope to see you again soon. Alright, see you later, game. Yeah, you betray me, old man. So the homeless hunters. This heat action is incredible. It's so good. みんな1年くらい前赤鼻が下水に沈んでたのを見たやつがいる。銃で撃たれた跡があったって。銃。その死体警察には。いや、届けてないんだな。俺らは警察が好きじゃないし。向こうもドブで死んだホームレスの事件なんて面倒なだけだ。死体だってもうどっかに流されちまったよ。それでも俺らは赤鼻に何があったか突き止めてやりたかった。せめてもの供養にな。そっか。So <sighs> <Yeah. sighs> their friend got murdered and he couldn't give a damn thing about it. なんであいつをやったかは今もわからねえ。その頃東条会のヤクザが一人あいつを探し回ってた。ひましか。そのヤクザが赤鼻を殺したのか。わからねえ。俺らがヤクザ相手に鍵回れるわけねえだろ。だからあんたからなら何か聞けるかと思って
それでさっきはあいにくだったなそいつは下手なヤクザよりタッチが悪いんだガキンコロから喧嘩のバカズだけは踏んでるよ<笑>それもカムロ潮流でだ遅かったなカイトさん一年前に赤鼻を探し回ってたってヤクザこいつかおおこいつだ間違いないよ一年前東は強盗犯だった赤鼻から1億を回収して組に戻しているその頃下水道には赤鼻の射殺体が上がっていたとなると犯人は誰だと思う It was me, Yagami. It was me all along, Yagami. どうしてもあの東が人を殺せたとは思えねえ。銃だって、下っ端のあいつがどっから調達した Everybody has guns in this city. どうにでもなる。ここはカムロ町なんだぞ。Yagami's had a good point at the end of this game. あんたも行くだろ、カイトさん。あんたは東に何があったか知りたかったんだよな。ああ、わかってる。東はシャルルにいるはずだ。We're probably gonna need to do another following of Higashi soon. Come on, Kaio, let's go. Out of my way, gamer. Come on, Kai. Oh, your shirt is brighter than the sun. You're practically lighting up the city. I'm gonna kick you straight into child, you bastard. It's that time again. Okay, I've not had a salmon before, that's new. Blowfish. Tuna. Just had the salmon before. Duplicate, gotta go. Higashi-san, Yagami, Kaito, also together. What are you talking about, Kaito-san? The one who pushed you out of the way was that one, right? Was that one? なんの用だっつってんだよ。東、お前赤鼻を殺したか。え？一年前松金組に押し入った拳銃強盗だよ。そいつから一億回収したのはお前だったよな。でもちょうどその頃赤鼻の死体を見たって人間がいる。撃
I used rubber bullets. Who comes out? その<笑> My god, he disarmed him, what a madman. Get out of here. Kaito, you weren't a million yen from gambling before. And then you made me pay for that cop to sort your problems. No, I mean. This one dude who works at Charles just keeps getting absolutely destroyed. Children are just watching from the sides and just seeing all this shit going down. Time to swap the tiger. What a madman, what an absolute madman. Right, this is the Kaito. Ever since I learned, ever since I relearned that X mode gets you around mortal wounds, I'm a lot more open to using it. <laughs> It was me, Kaito. Akahanaが松金組の金を奪った時、組員の中に誰か手引きした内通者がいたはずだ。そいつは赤花にいろんな情報を与えてた。事務所が手薄な時間帯、金庫のある場所はもちろん、その中に確実に金がある日時。でなきゃ。ヤクザの金を奪うなんてまず不可能だ。その内通者が赤穴を殺したんじゃないのか。真相の口封じをするために。そうかもな。誰なんだそいつは。そこまでしてなんで組の金を金は二の次だったんです。あ。
羽村の頭か頭にとって兄貴は組の中でただ一人の脅威だった兄貴さえいなくなりゃ松金組を完全に掌握できるあの人はそう踏んだ確かにな実際今そうなってる頭に逆らえるもんはもうただの一人もいねえあの人にはそれだけの稼ぎがあって力がある頭あっての松金組だ So Hamura staged a robbery and pinned it on Kaito san to get him expelled. But if Akashi knows all that, why is he at Hamura's beck and call? Akahana was in the Toki, Nanigata. Omaya Zembu Shitirundaro, Higashi. Ichioku ga ubawarate. Aniki ga hamon ni natta tsui no hida. Ora Satskara joho katte. Somo yurniwa. もう赤鼻の名前と顔を手に入れてたそいつで町中聞き込んで行き着いたのはカムロ町の下水道だったただそこにいたのは赤鼻だけじゃなかったハムラの頭もそこにああ頭は赤鼻から9000万を回収して高飛びさせようとしてたんだつまり赤鼻の報酬は1000万それで円満におさらばのはずだったあなたはサイマショード頭ですか。俺です。東です。東。なんでてめえがここにいる。一人か。あの、そ,そこのホームレス。赤鼻と言って、そいつが事務所の一億を。フラムなら、あのバカを恨めよ。え？おおおな,なんだ。頭、そいつはまずいんじゃお前、なんで奴が犯人だと分かった<笑>そ、それは<笑>俺は、すべてありのまま話した事務所が襲われた時俺もその場に居合わせてたこと綾部から札の情報を買って赤鼻にたどり着いたこと言葉が途切れたらそこで撃たれるってそう思って必死にしゃべりまくった<笑>なるほどで海藤のおめえを晴らしてやる気だったかあの野郎もいい射程持ったな<笑>こ殺さないでお願いします勘弁してください頭本当にやるんでそうだな死にたくなきゃ俺に忠誠を誓え<笑>そいつを形にしてみせろでもどうすれば<笑>こうすんだよお前がここに来なけりゃこいつは死なずに済んだそれどころか一千万手にしてたんだよかわいそうになお前がこいつを殺したんだ<笑><笑>お前女みてえな声出すんだな興奮するじゃねえかこれでお前も
本物のヤクザになったな Not as impressive as Kiryu blowing up a helicopter with a rocket launch, but okay. So, I'm not sure what you're doing. Ah, I'm not sure what you're doing. 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 True, the cock probably would suspect him. Now, ジジを伝えたとこであの人を困らせるだけだ。東もそれが分かってたからずっと一人で飲み込んでた。そうか。そういうことなんだな。俺先に帰るよ、カイトさん。うん。積もる話があんだろ。あんたらには邪魔しち
だんだん親父の言うことだけは聞くようになってったもともとあいつはヤクザにしかなれねえ俺らとは出来が違ったんだ親父もそこを見込んで谷町を買って出たんじゃねえかターボーもそれに応えて司法試験まで通っちまった<笑>そこがまた気に食わなかったんですよ俺らは<笑>でもあいつは取り返しのつかないしくじりをしたもう終わった人間じゃないですか矢上はなのに兄貴も親父もなんであんなやつとそれ言ったら破門にされた元極道も似たようなもんだぜカムロ町じゃ珍しくもねここはその手の人間が最後に行き着く町でもあるあいつも俺もこの町で育った他に行き場なんかねえだから羽村の勝ちだといくら勝ち合おうが俺らは俺らの流儀で行くだけだ兄貴今の俺には頭の命令が絶対ですでももし兄貴たちを殺せとでも言われたら精一杯あがいてみせます<笑>その気持ちだけで十分だあわへかしわわがふちゃつふいあれやモグラを追うヤガミたちに松金組の包囲網が狭まっていく1年前カイトの波紋をきっかけに塗り替えられた松金組内部の勢力図だが全ては仕組まれていた裏社会の掟に翻弄されるカムロ町の男たちいつかその流れに一矢報いようと彼らはあがき続けるチャプター4スケレンズのクローゼットスプーキースケーリーマッツガニファミリーオフィスなあ東よお前なんで仕事手抜いてんのかないえ自分はそんなならなんでまだターボがうろちょろしてんだよてめえがなってねえからなめられてんだろうが知らがいるという事務所が窮屈でいけねえぜ。うん。<笑>ずっとうだうだ機嫌悪いし。<笑>死ねはい。登場会計松金組事務所前で銃撃
一人死亡か死んだのは栗本って組のフルカムだ流れ玉で肩着にも怪我人が出てる栗本いやお前は知らねえかもな別に目立つやつじゃなかった犯人は自称会社員その場で現行犯逮捕そいつは教霊会の送り込んだ鉄砲玉だ間違いないのかああ夕べ東から聞いたんでなへえこの間俺らに銃向けてたあいつが<笑>そう言ってやるなよ Who doesn't wanna shoot you at this point, Yagami? 話じゃ犯人は栗本の体にまず弾を四発でとどめに両目を打ち抜いた目を要するに教霊会からモグラへの報復だだがこうなると松金組どころか登場会本家も黙ってね教霊会との報復合戦になるかああ今のカムロ町は相当やべえフラスフィンダイゴドジマニスビルウェブ言ってた。オミアラインズチョンプナットベッユベ、銃撃の時は東も事務所にいたらしい。あいつんとこならまた何か情報が入ってきてるかもな。あらえだ。Huh? Why is Hoshino Kun calling me? Hello, this is Yagami. Yagami san, you've got to help me! Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Gandalore office.、Okay. What do you mean? Just something terrible happened. You've got to get down here! Alright, l I'll be right there. I think this is the,、uh, the stupid argument. Out of my way! Oh god, it's chapter four. It's time to deal with those assholes. It's coming. The Kai Hing Gang. I love the fact that you can just jump over things in this game. Right, I think this is the silly argument. Shino Kun, what's going on? Yep, it is. Eh? Sayori has him at the、uh, balls, if you will. Wait, what the? You did it, so admit it already.、Huh? I told you I didn't do it! There's no point in lying.、Nah. Hey. Yagami san. Yagami san, you came! Yagami k u n My Fuyu's here too? Ashino could w h i n the world is going on. I thought this was serious. It is serious! As you can see, Sayori san and my Fuyu san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? <sighs> yeah, and I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, here we go. What is Ashino being suspected of? Ashino kun! What does Sayori san think he did?、Yeah. I didn't do anything! She's just upset about her stupid cake. Her、uh, cake? Yes, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge.、Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Goto Gato. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get.、Okay. Huh? Is this really happening right now? In that case, why is Mafuyu involved? 
I'm not. I just happened to drop in on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this? Mm-hmm. Sayori's pretty worked up. I made inquiries and it sounded like Hashino-kun is really the only one who could have done the deed. That's why Mafuyu is prosecuting, prosecuting the case for me. Prosecuting? Is that how it is? Nah. Okay, I'll buy it. Why is Hashino-kun the most likely suspect? Hashino-kun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having got it, got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake seen last? I went home around 8pm last night and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. And then presuming Hoshino-kun is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10pm and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There is there are no signs of forced entry, so I think the rules out so I think that rules out any external parties to the culprit. I see. And who will lock the office this morning then? Again the sense it got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu san arrived. Sayori san was the last to arrive. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. But that would mean Genda-sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No way. Genda-sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for western cakes and pastries. That's your justification? Although I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. You're up against the wall, Hashino-kun. Why don't you just come and clean? Mafuyu-san, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! The longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hashino-kun. Objection. Objection! If you ask me, Mafuyu-san is pretty suspicious too. Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? And do you care to tell the court what you mean by that little comment? After Mafuyu-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. Jesus Christ, man. Mafuyu-san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Why would I? This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? Don't think I didn't hear it when you came in here this morning. Your stomach growled. What? You heard that? Yes, you skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd just peek in the fridge, and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Yes, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san, you're up. Mm -hmm. I am. Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, Sayori-san will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, sounds like a prize to me. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take this one. I'm counting on you. Okay. Apparently this is really happening. So the first place a good lawyer starts is the crime scene. I wonder if the wrapper is still in the trash. Justice is sweet. I think the cat is on the streets. Yeah, yep, right there. Hang on, can I get a good angle? Oh look, a cat! This is Sayori-san's desk. It's immaculate. Yeah. Well, look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is the one opposite hers. Seeing her clean desk is actually a pretty motivating. Uh, motivating, huh? Is it the neat desk or the person who sits at it that's motivating you? What are you, what are you implying? <laughs> Nothing. You're just an open book. Come on, Yagami-san. Don't tease. Hello. I'm pretty certain it turns out that Genda did do it. Hello, Sayori. I'm, go I'm going in, guys. Don't worry. So this is the refrigerator where the crime happened. Hmm? The ice tray is melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? Nah, couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. 
Then why did it melt? That's interesting. Seeing that the trash can is empty, it's usually bursting at the seams. Hi. We tackle out the trash every day now on a rotating shift. And who is in charge of it today? Genda Sensei. Yeah. Huh? Even Genda Sensei pinches him? <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sayori san made him do it. Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, Don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Then he said he'd start pitching in on trash duty. I'm surprised you have the guts to say that to him. Yagami-san, the other trash cans are empty too. It seems Genda Sensei takes trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Well, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anywhere else it could have been thrown away? Well, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen. Well, let's have a look. Finding that wrapper is going to blow this case wide open. No wrappers, but it looks like we've got some milk cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compact compacted. Those are Sayori San's milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Sayori San scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk, is she? I kind of doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Okay. Apparently we're done. Hoshino, man, you can stand up. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Eh? The hearing? Are we really going to go trial? Going? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course. Mafuyu, or should I say Prosecutor Fu Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine. I've been dragged in this far. May as well see it through. Then court is now in session for the defendant, Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Uh, well, the prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino Kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter-argument to that assertion. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami right, Yagami-kun? You can corroborate this statement, I take it? Mm. Me? Mm. If Mafuyu really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... It's the trash can because the trash was empty before she got there. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Yes, again the sensei was the first one in the office today, and that's probably where he, when he took out the trash. Which means, if Mafuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterwards. And since we've all confirmed that the trash can is empty... Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've probably searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Yeah. Hold it, Sayori-san. I can present a counter-argument here. Hi. The court will hear the defense's objection. While the wrapper may not have been in the trash can, we can't rule out that he didn't hide the evidence. Objection! Predictable, Yagami-kun! I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Mm -hmm. New evidence? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation, naturally. That's when this document at Sayori's desk caught my eye. It's a notice of a planned power outage. Eh? Relevance, Prosecutor. It seems there was a blackout last night scheduled from 11pm to 9am the next morning. I do remember Gende Sensei saying something about that. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up so I left and forgot all about it. Mm -hmm. Eh? Then that means... 
Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no powder on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm. And if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. <sighs> oh. Hey, wait! I'm sorry, Hashino-kun. I'm sorry. I'm afraid so, Hashino-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hashino-kun, it can only be you. <laughs> no way! Objection. Bang. Objection. Excuse me? Does the defense have further arguments? Sorry. Yes. I think it's too early to renounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. <gasps> this better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. The milk, I guess. The milk Sayori Sam put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons, to be precise. Genda Sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim herself. I'm not following Yagami. Let's consider. What would drive Genda Sensei to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, that's certainly that's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There was one particular piece of evidence that points to logic behind his actions. Is it just this? The out? Is it just the outage? Well, he was also on garbage. I can't remember which one this is. He's also on garbage duty. But he's clearly left them in there, so... Let's try this. I don't think it's that. The power outage? Defense, does this line of reason have a point? What would happen to milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad, he probably would throw it away. Oh, then... It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means, the true culprit that ate Sayori-san's cake is... Nobody. No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Eh? What? I can't believe this. You're implying Genda-sensei threw away the spoiled cake. Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Sayori said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying I kind of jumped to conclusions? Yes, but you need a map for that. Hello. Ooh. Wow. Quite a crowd hidden here. What brings you by, Agami and Mafuyu Khan? Welcome back, Genda Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty of all days. It's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. Uh. Ooh. I believe the words were, Don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Your words, right, Shirasaki-kun? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I, I. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> and I sent in Sayori-san to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. Thanks. I gotta say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Sayori-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved... You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. 
I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. A pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. Kamarocho is pretty tense right now, no thanks to the Matsugani family and the Kaiori clan at each other's throats. Better ask Gashi about it. Oh yeah, that thing. Matsukazu Kurimoto. Senior member of the Matsugani family, a subsidiary of the Sojo clan. Moments after leaving the Matsugani family office, he was shot in the back and then in both eyes at a brutal coup de grace. Shooter, a self-employed worker who shot Kurimoto, a senior member of the Sojo clan's Matsugani family, from behind as he exited the family office. Once Kurimoto collapsed and was no longer able to move, the suspect finished him off by shooting him in each eye at close range. Based on the information obtained from Higashi, another Matsugani family member, the shooter was believed to be a hitman sent by the Kaori clan. What does it say about the side case that we just did? Paradise. Disabled veteran. The homeless man with a limp who gave me a VR play pass. He said he'll lend me he'll lead me to Red Nose in exchange for the grand prize from Dyson Cube. Uh, a homeless man with a bad leg gave me a play pass for Dyson Cube. He wants me to go and play a game in exchange for him looking for someone who knows a bit about Red Nose. I need to clear the game and bring in the prize. Justice is sweet. Issei Hoshino. One, once accused of heinous crimes against the cake, I managed to clear his name of all charges. I knew he was innocent. Sayori Shirasaki. She was fuming over the cake theft and planned to uncover the truth through a mock trial. If only she'd put that passion into her job. Mafuyu Fuji. A witness who happened to be at the scene. Hashina was trying to pin the crime on her. She was pulled into the mock trial too, but was surprisingly down to go along with Sayori's nonsense. Hoshino couldn't call me to defend him in the mysterious disappearance from Kate that Sayori's son had been protecting. Hoshino couldn't was a prime suspect and so had to prove his innocence. Sayori's son transformed into a different person when it comes to sweets and she couldn't remember that there was a planned power outage that caused Gen to censor who was on cleaning duty to throw out this bowl of cake. Hoshino couldn't, you've got your work cut out for you. Let's get out of here. I think we'll fit it Higashi and call it quits. Or is it a tr do we need to fo we have to follow a Higashi again at some point and it might be now Blowfish, we've got Fugu. Fuck, Fugu again. I'm going in. Yeah, I get me. I'm just here to annoy you at this point. もう<笑> ゆうべから松金組は大変だね。ああ。
組のもんは全員召集かけられてるなるほどそれにしてもなんで教霊会は急にやる気になったんだ今までおとなしくしてたのに<笑>今向こうのナンバーツったのがカムロ町に来てんだよ関西の方からわざわざなナンバーツー教霊会の若頭で塩やサトシバリバリの武闘派でゆくゆくは小馬会長の跡目だじゃあ昨夜の銃撃はそいつの差し入れああしかも塩屋が本当に狙ったのは多分羽村の頭だあなんでそんなことがうんわかるんだなこいつは昨夜殺された栗本の写真だがよどぎついな両目を打ち抜かれてるただ見せたいのは顔じゃねえ服装の方だんこの服が何だって昨日は頭もこんなジャージを着てたよえ栗本とは年も背格好も似ている頭も気づいたはずだぜ本当は自分が狙われたってな So the Kaori attack was meant for Hamura specifically, not the Tojo clan. なるほど。それで慌てて雲隠れしたのか。笑,笑っちゃ悪いのかな。お前、ずいぶん余裕だな。頭を狙う強霊会にしたらよ。それを無罪にした連中も十分まとになる。そうじゃねえか。<笑>じゃあ俺も狙われるの。え？お前よりシンタニってやつの方が危ねえ。いや、いつも、ね、してたのはあいつだろう。ああ。カタギが極道に狙われたら、ひとたまりもねえぞ。まあ、俺がシンタニの身内なら、一言警告してやるとこだ。I will. Let me go on to the streets. Kim Song? Yo, you do say it. Oh, my dad. K. Hindo may no Cassida. I'm on my way on that. None do my way. Yagami, sir. I didn't eat that damn it. Please hang up, Yagami. Nice of it. Shintani's gonna have to wait. I need to go save Kim san. I don't need to do anything of the sort. That is a tomorrow problem. I'm not the fucking Kai Hing Gang. Alright, but that's it for me today. So, more judgment tomorrow where we'll deal with the Kai Hing Gang. And hopefully, I will see you there for it. See you later.